Then I get that half a skirt. <laughs> I had a mother-in-law just like this. I had a mother-in-law just like this. And I do not miss her at all. I do not miss her at all. She was a petty, bitter, miserable woman. And I absolutely hated having to spend any time in her presence. Everything was a competition. Everything was a competition and she was never happy for me. Imagine going through your whole life and enduring a whole bunch of shit and then turning around and wanting to shit on everybody else. That is the type of person that she was. I had said I was never going to talk about it, but these last few days on this app have shown me that there are a lot of women that exist in this space. It's like they have dealt with crap and they think that everybody else on this planet should also deal with crap. A lot of women have embraced misogyny and the patriarchy. And they have followed the rules that were laid down by men. And these rules benefited men. And so they've dealt with bullshit through their relationships and in their families and all types of things. And they feel like because they endured it, the generation behind them should also endure it. And so I see it play out on my page because I have these older women, women that are my age. So when I say older, I mean in their 50s. I'll be 52 soon. They have played by these rules. The rules did not serve them. And then they see somebody like myself come on here with their own business, divorced and happy. I really don't think that I will ever get married again. Like it doesn't serve me. There's no point in me having a husband at this point in my life. He would have to be an exceptional man. Living my own life and enjoying life. And because they have endured and suffered so much, they turn around and want everybody to suffer along with them. I've been trying to put my finger on exactly what it was. But when I watched that video and I thought about my, my former mother-in-law and what a nasty human being she was. That's all I could come up with. People have made choices about how they want to live. And that is fine for you. But then to turn around and then shit on all the people behind you, that's no, that's just not okay. And it requires a lot of introspection, but that's too difficult. Because when you look at yourself and you look at your life and you look at all the sacrifices you make, you got to ask yourself, was it worth it? Was it worth it? And a lot of times the sacrifices that these women have made for men and their children, it wasn't worth it. And that's why they're angry.